This is a Citrus County, Florida training video on how to pay your fees and upload electronic documents. Again, I'm in a test site. When you are in production, this will be portal.citrusbocc.com. Again, I have clicked on my shopping cart option to pay my fees. I will then click on make a payment. You will be directed to an external payment processing website. You will need to click OK to confirm that redirection. From here, you will either enter in your credit card, debit card information. Credit cards will have a $2.75 service charge. Electronic checks is a $0.95 cent service charge. I will go ahead and select credit card, continue to payment information button. Here you will enter in your cardholder information, your credit card number. As well as your billing address. When you are done, you will click continue to review payment. Here you will need to check I agree to the terms of invoice cloud paying uh, $2.75 surcharge. Process the payment. When you receive your payment has been accepted, thank you for your payment. You will return back to the home page. This will redirect you back to the Citrus County website where you will now see your application and its availability to upload any electronic documents. I will go ahead and select back onto my dashboard so I can see all of my applications. As you will notice, your shopping cart information will decrease as you pay your fees. Again, you can sort by the added date, you could sort by the issue date, you could sort by the expiration date. This is your option, how you wish to short your applications. I'm gonna scroll down to my Marine that I just paid those fees. As you can see, I have paid my fees, but now I'm awaiting attachments. So I'm gonna go ahead and select electronic plans, which will turn you to a, another window to submit your electronic plans. Based on the type of application that you're on, you will be uploading different sets of documents and plans. From this screen, you'll be able to drag and drop from your file explorer or click the browse button to select the documents from your explorer. This application only requires architect engineered plans. So I'm gonna to go to my uh, file explorer and I'm actually going to just drag a document that is a plan set. This will go through a virus check. Once this is complete, you will need to then select the actual document type. This will state it required. Again, architecture engineer plans are required. You do have the ability to add as many documents as you wish. And these are the categories which will display by the application type that you're on. Once you are done uploading all of your documents, whether they're plans, affidavits, any sort of electronic file, please click the submit package for review button at the bottom of the screen. This will give you another confirmation page that you're ready to submit this package. And you will now get a progression bar stating that it is uploading the package. Based on the file size, these may take longer or shorter. We do request that the file size be uh, set at the, the minimum or the maximum indicated by the Citrus County website. I will pause the video while this uploads. When your package has been submitted successfully, you will get a thank you message indicating that it has been successfully submitted. 
You can either click the close button at the bottom of the screen um, or you can close the X at the top of the screen. Either one of those will close this window. I will go ahead now and refresh my entire browser so I can see the status of this application after I have attached the electronic documents. As I scroll down, I will see my marine application is now in completeness review. It is in review. I can additionally click on the view details of this marine application. And it will tell me what is currently in progress. If the application status is out to applicant, that indicates the county is waiting either payment or documentation. At this point, it's in review, and as I scroll down, you will see that it indicates Citrus County is currently reviewing this application. I do not have any fees to be paid, nor do I have any electronic documents that are due at this time. If I had fees to be paid or electronic documents to be uploaded, they would be here in the needs action window. This button can be turned on to all. If you left click on all, it will then tell you everything that has occurred on this application. For example, the fact that I did pay the $50 fee. And as the reviews are completed, you will also see those listed here. It is recommended to keep this at needs action so that you can see right away what is currently occurring on your application. Additionally, you can request a change of contractor at different points of your application. This is a link here at the top of your application page, but additionally, we have it also on the dashboard. That is an option that states the same words, request change of contractor. If you left click on this link, it will then indicate for you to enter in the name of the contractor that is going to be your replacement contractor. There are fees that apply, as well as the county has to review this information and confirm all is correct. And then you will receive an email indicating when you have uh, received confirmation of this replacement contractor. When you're done entering then this contractor's name, you will click request change of contractor button. Mm -hmm. 